two, one. What's up, guys? Welcome to your Sweat Saturday. And um, all that stuff I was talking about yesterday about being really, really hard, man, this is about to be the easiest workout that you've ever done. All right. So with today's workout, um, it's called Run Forge Run. It's a workout that we're recycling. I love it. One of my favorite workouts. You have a 45-minute cap time. All right. Now, the key to this movement is to challenge yourself with the kettlebell. Don't grab the easiest thing that you know you can do 80 reps nonstop. Challenge yourself with some good weight where your uh, reps won't get sloppy, but you should not be doing these movements unbroken. All right, let's talk about it. First thing you're gonna need, you see it right there, a wall ball, a kettlebell, and a plyo box. With this setup, if you need to share plyo boxes, it's totally cool because once the workouts start, about time you get to the plyo box, we're all gonna be in separate divisions. I guarantee it. All right, but first things first is the kettlebell swings. With the kettlebell swings, we're doing American swing kettlebells. You have a total of 100 reps. I did not say that wrong. You have a 100, <laughs> I just pictured a couple people's faces. You have 100 kettlebell American swings. So as you take that thing from the ground, shows the pinch back, tight stomach. As you hinge at the hips, poking your head through, whew, that's one, controlling that weight with the tight stomach, two. Remember, we're keeping that kettlebell near our body. We're never roundhousing it to get above our head. We're always making sure that that kettlebell stays near and we're just punching it to the sky. But whenever you get to 100 reps, you would then go to the next movement, which would be a total of 80 wall ball throws. Getting to that wall ball target, getting your wall ball, chest up, nice and proud, body weight on your heels, toes out slightly, so your knees never cave in. Big deep breath, ass to grass. As you hit that wall target, pow, keeping that ball up, nice and proud, never catching the ball underhanded, and rounding your backs, guys. Always catch it up. Even if you have to scale and not hit a high wall target, bringing it down a little bit, it's totally cool. But whenever you get to 80 reps, you'll go to the third movement, which is gonna be your alternating step ups. That same kettlebell that you have with the American Swings will be the same kettlebell you'll use for your step ups. As you power clean it, getting in your goblet position, putting the heel of your foot on, stand tall, and you're gonna alternate. Try to always keep that opposite foot on until you get to 60 reps. The key to this is standing up every single time. Whenever you get to 60, you then go to the four, uh, fourth and final one, which is gonna be box jumps, all right? Now, on the box, if you have to scale down and get a bumper plate, I want you on something that you can comfortably jump on. Everybody knows their strength and their weakness, right? If you're comfortable and you've been on a plyo box numerous amount of times, you know a good box that you know, when I say the rep count of 40, that you can get on 40 times. If you've never done this, definitely get something a little shorter. You can always increase in the middle of the workout, but trust me, you wanna get on this box every single time you jump. Athletic stance, as you load up, tight stomach, power up, stand tall is one, stepping down, powering up in the athletic stance, that would be two. You'll be doing a total of 40, all right? As you see, I kind of almost fell. Last guy's tired. All right, kidding. But <clears throat> whenever you finish 100, 80, 60, and 40, you're done with the workout. That's it. That's it. You got 45 minutes to do it. However, <clears throat> but, okay, I'm going to stop using conjunctions. Every three, two, one, you have to run a hundred meter no matter where in the workout. And your coach will let you know because we're gonna do it every two minutes. So once the workout starts, you're doing those American kettlebell swings. Say you're on rep number 62 and they say two minutes or you hear the clock, go run a hundred meters. Once you come back, you resume your count. Dang, this is tough. I'm not gonna even lie to you. Ladies and gents, you got 45 minutes, which means when you run, you need to get to that movement and knock out as many reps as you can. <clears throat> Once you finish that run, you should not wait 30, 45 seconds and then start your exercise. Once you get there, you got to go, just to be honest. So north side, I love the setup because the run is right next to your movement. On the southwest, a little bit different. If, if it's a beautiful day, maybe set your stuff up outside or you're going to have to jog from the 100 meter spot to your spot. A little bit more of a run, but it is what it is. All right. That's going to be your sweat Saturday. Guys, it's 45 minutes. Be empowering, be contagious with positive energy, be a go-getter because the energy that you give is the energy that you're going to receive. It's Sweat Saturday. Take a selfie. Let me know how the workout was. I'll see you soon.